Hey guys, welcome back. It's going to be point you for another video for our shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you're looking after yourselves. Damn, what a day it has been and what a week it's been. It's so far uh, pretty quiet. There has been some big news dropped within Rage Legends. I did a couple of videos on them yesterday. So go ahead, check out that video. Definitely would recommend it. Uh, anyway, let's get on to today's video. Today's video is a juicy one. I've wanted to do this for a while. And I kind of wanted to show a free to play version on how to counter this champion, right? Uh, and I want you to kind of keep your um, perspective open. This is mainly for like classic arena uh, and free versus free, but it's definitely a viable strategy. Uh, this guy is broken, and there is a couple of counters already to him in Rage Legends. Uh, once I can find him. Uh, which is him, right? Like, this guy is completely broken and personally way, way too strong for me in raid. Um, first of all, do I think he should be nerfed? Yes, I think he's just um, overall way too strong for uh, his level and people picking him over mythicals, which is just kind of wrong. And, um, a suspect, uh, and I don't think it's so much of the mythical is being underwhelming, like um, people are taking him over, like Patrixia and stuff like that. So it's one of them ones. And also, um, I suppose they take him right because it's a free champion and they know how strong he is. Um, so I would nerve him slightly. I'd probably just drop the term eater here. I would just not allow him to take the uh, term eater here. So he doesn't go into the A2 and then A3 pretty quickly. But it can be counted. It's very difficult to counter. And every team is different and every team is going to offer you different problems but you have to there is ways that you can counter him so we're good today i'm going to speak about a good way to counter him just in general and stuff like that i don't like nerven champions i don't like suggesting nerven champions normally my answer to these nerves and stuff like that is to buff other champions and bring counters into rachel legends uh, I'm still on the fence with him about that. And to be honest, like, I I'd still would bring in um, that option of, um, like, countering him and releasing the stuff like that. But they need to do it pretty quickly because he is ruining live arena experience just in general. Like, every time I go second, um, I have to band him, right? And it's just one on one. So he's like initial band. So I don't actually get my bands because i'm going to band him straight off the bat so it's one of them ones that i don't really like as much other than that let's go ahead and let me kind of show you how i would counter him now right now i'm not in platinum arena but we are quite high up in the arena and we got one here we got a double strip champion triple strip champion with the monkey and i'm going to break down a whole new team so we're going to use UDK throughout this video. We're going to bring in uh, Malafar Lifebane. We're also going to bring in Queen because she's in Stone Skin. Stone Skin is really important for this strategy. And ideally, you want your Nuka in Stone Skin. Now, there is times where you don't need your Stone Skin, uh, your Nuka in Stone Skin. So sometimes like, I can make King work, but he will still drop the turn meter. So that is recommended but a team like this which is quite squishy i would bring in a stone skin nuka so we're going to bring in candy for this video really important that you put um mafala or udk in the lead because his ai is terrible and he's going to basically try and sheep the person in the lead you can also put her in the lead if you have enough resistance uh but throughout this two these two have the resistance she has no resistance she's just here for like the cleanse, etc., for like the Kaima and the monkey, just in case anything goes shenanigans. We also have another cleanse here with increased attack. We also have a cooldown in the E1, so that's why she's pretty strong as well. So, cooldowns will help you nuka combat rounds if you're not successful of killing the team. Um, and stuff like that. You can see we've got triple um, accuracy right now. Now, he's just opened up with the A1 because, like, they're trying to catch people off guard now, which is perfectly fine. If anything, this makes me my life uh, not a lot easier, but um, more doable, right? 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put up the petrification, etc., which is going to be some type of CC, which is perfect for him. Really slows him down. You can see we do a great job there. My candy doesn't kill as much as I want. Um, but we'll come back around for Mr. Candy. We're going to play the decrease attack and the fear. Again, pretty useful. And then we're just going to play the poisons here. Now I need to worry about the turn meter and stuff like that. Because now he can still turn meter, which is where I'm in trouble. It's also worth pointing out with Lady, um, we also have the revive as well, just in case we lose anyone. Now, Monkey does have AoE, so that's one thing to think of. We want to kill him fast as possible. And then it's pretty much set sailing from there. Like, UDK doesn't really worry me that much right now with what is on the field left. I'm pretty sure Kaiman's dead. There, it's just a glitch, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and take out our first team here. And again, UDK, pretty key here. And we do run sheep there as well. I've actually got the wrong positioning for Mephala. Um, but yeah, generally works quite well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try a different one. Um, this one here. Now this one is a little bit more difficult because there is a warlord here. Um, so that's one thing that you could probably which will probably like screw you a little bit here, but high resistance ally attack, someone like Cardial or something like that would be pretty useful if you can get a high resistance ally attack in stone skin, or you could even use Lady M in a stone skin set. If you had one, mine's not in that, so I can't really go ahead and showcase that for today. Um, but that is something that you can kind of look at. Normally there is loads and loads and loads on defense, but today it looks a bit different. Uh, okay, so we have one here with Halakath, etc. So I'm actually going to drop a, I'm actually going to drop Mafala. We're going to bring in a Stone Skin Warlord here because again, Stone Skin is kind of key for our so, uh, our strategy, right? And again, a Stone Skin Lockout or even a Stone Skin Kaima could do the trick. Just bear in mind Kaima if he's in Stone Skin. You're going to possibly still be in trouble. Same with Lady M. Uh, so as you can see here, he's actually in stone skin, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the lockout, which is perfectly fine. I've lost my stone skin now, so I've got to be careful of turn meter. And then we're just waiting for some good stuff like so. And just wait for everything to kind of drop. So this will give me a chance to buff up. Uh, my candy, etc., to kind of get some damage going. As you can see there, we had another lock lockout session, which is pretty useful, uh, which will allow me to be basically, I'm on a turn, two turn cooldown now, which is pretty cool. We're going to do the A1 on there. I forgot about UDK. And as you can see, we still can't do much against me, right? So it's pretty cool. We've got a lockout ready, which is pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and lock them out again. And now Necrid is basically our kryptonite right now. There we are. There's the kill on uh, Necrid. And then we're just waiting on some good RNG. As you can see there, we've got some good RNG again. Mm, so everything's going to Warlord right now. It is random. You can't control the way that the lockout unfortunately works it'd be kind of cool if you could because that would be really really useful um and stuff like that i like candy in stone skin because he can increase his own attack and stuff like that which is pretty useful and again like candy nearly killed him there with a1 so warlord up able to drop the turn meter etc pretty consistently which is pretty nice uh etc mm. But stone skin is basically key for this. I'm gonna go ahead and play some shields and yeah, play some block buffs. And then we're just gonna do the A1 again, get a cooldown on candy this time. So pretty pretty useful. Uh we're gonna buff up with increase attack. You can see there that the A3 came back in much faster than we want it to. Uh like so. I suppose UDK has made this a bit difficult as well, just with the 
uh, possibility of um, holding off the tax a little bit, which is a bit annoying. But again, we have to lock out here. He got he got into the game a little bit, but nothing too crazy to cause us any problems. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, Stone Skin Warlord again, pretty effective if you have one. Other than that, if not, it's gonna be Mafala Life Bane back into here, right? Mafala doesn't need Stone Skin. Mm, really, so that's one thing that you don't really need. You can use Hefrek as well. Um, there's definitely a lot of viable nukas. If you can get a, like a nuka in a fast nuka build in like a Stone Skin One Piece as well as Savage, that's probably the best way to go. I don't have that available, so that's one thing. I'm just gonna take on these quick fights here just to kind of push me up for the leaderboards. Uh, and then we'll come back and do like a part two to this. Okay, so we are back. We do have uh, a couple of better teams now. I've just pushed up a little bit by taking a couple of one-man defenses. I can't pass up free, uh, free hits, so you know I've got to try and get them um, forge materials as much as possible. And I don't do enough of arena these days, so that's a team we do not want to be showcasing today. That is not a team that you guys are interested in seeing today. So let's go back in with like something regular that we're using. Uh, so you can see here we've got Georgie, who's a top tier nuka. Fushan is a bit interesting of a move. Uh, and then I don't know why he's done this, but uh, interesting. I'm pretty sure this would work on Arbiter if we put Arbiter in lead, but only one of them work, not both of them. That's uh, something that's very interesting. So as you can see here, this is a perfect team for Candy. Everyone's a good affinity. For him and candy can hit pretty hard right so it's worth noting not to sleep on candy and i built i made a video on candy before in stone skin uh like a long long time ago actually so it's kind of one thing that's interesting now we've gone ahead and lost udk there i've actually got double uh actually have a double set of um uh of reaction and he's just gone straight through that so georgie doing georgie things just go straight up give him a little slap and a little tap there i'm gonna get rid of arb then it's a case of trying to cc him uh so we're gonna come in with the fear and i suppose we'll play our chances with the fear right now it's a proc but that's fine we also got strong affinity uh, affinity is a good thing to kind of play and then we'll also have sheep as well to have our backs as well. So high resistance UDK as well, even better for um as a backup when things don't go your way, right? Uh, and I think you can go your can go your way in the arena. We're now going to reset Mafala so we can play the petrification. It is noticing with AUE petrification is pretty lethal with that, so perfect counter and then where we are candy goes and wraps us up pretty easily nothing to really worry about of where even with georgie there really uh we have a stronger one here we could try and take this on um in all fairness the sun god makes this pretty hard to take on because of the second form uh with the strip locked out of skills and the resistance and increased accuracy so um Mythicals are a different game, and that's why we're actually going to avoid that because we just don't have enough in the tank to deal with this. Uh, Tormund can make this very tricky. There is other counters I will get into towards the end, and I'll timestamp a couple into here. But I feel this is the most consistent way, and it's actually probably the best way for a end to game free to play player or a very low spender. We're probably going to have at least three of the champions. And again, a nuka can actually be replaced with any type of stone skin nuka. I'm pretty sure you can build at least one stone skin nuka. So this is also, um, you can also take these ideas into live arena as well. If you have a high resistance duchess. Again, if you get a mythical going against you, it's a bit of a hard luck on that one. But other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. So we've got double monkey here. So... More or less, you can see there that we resisted all the stuns, etc. Mm, we're going to play shields just in case. 
So one monkey was able to strip a Fala, which is fine. Uh, and then we're going to pop shields here. So stone skins blocking out the, I suppose, the annoying stuff from Tormund as well, which is pretty cool. We'll play our shields. We have high resistance. One monkey is doing his stuff. We do get, we do lose our increased attack from 83, which it is what it is. Use the poisons as well. Anything to try and kill uh, this guy would be amazing. We we'll come, come, come in and do a slapperoo, and then we'll go ahead. Now we've lost our buffs. We need to be careful. And again, we're not going to see him right because he's basically gone. Now we just got to deal with the two monkeys. So we'll lose our stone skin here. One does perfectly well. The other will kill Candy, which is fine. If anything, we can pretty much do our stuff and get a reset, which is pretty nice. And then clean up Torment there as well. Pretty easy, pretty consistent. Not the fastest. I know it's not the fastest. Don't get me wrong. But it's also not terribly slow as well. Uh, King... This one's probably something that we could possibly take on. Um, that would be something you need to be careful of. Um, again, speed team with Lydia. So this is something, again, we'd need to be careful of. I'm actually going to come in and bring in a stone skin warlord. Now, if you have a warlord, you definitely should have him in stone skin. I have two warlords. So I'm very lucky. Uh, because also, like Taurus and Mariska, right? He will fear you, so... Basically, it's better just to go stone skin and to also counter attack you when you do the lockout. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the lockout here, which will basically make me neutral. Elaine's got a double hit on E1, but that will go into one hit, will go into UDK and we'll play the strength run here as well. So, I did shields here. We'll do an increased attack here on Candy. Mm. And then we'll put up our buffs, which are pretty, pretty useful, bigger shields as well. Mm. And it's basically saying non night to whoever we can. Stop, still locked out. Now it is worth pointing out he's got low cooldowns. So if you're going to use Warlord, uh, you need to make sure that... Um, you kill him pretty quickly, right? So as you can see, pretty useful here as well. Taurus and Mariska. I have my own ways of taking these on, um, but I don't feel like this is a super strong strategy to take on like the OP couples like King Queen and uh, Taurus and Mariska, if I'm honest. So that's something I'd probably counter because there's like some different mechanics you need to take into consideration, right? Um. Again, we have Trixie here, which is basically a lockout. So I'm going to bring in King here and he will drop my turn meter. But um, yeah, we should be we should be fine. I would think more or less. Uh, as long as we get a reset and then we're going to bring Mafala in here for some type of CC. Now, Trixie could possibly lock me out if she's built correctly from what I'm seeing. Don't feel like she will be built correctly. If anything, we're faster, so definitely not top tier gear for sure. Again, we're going to play our hex here. And then we'll just see the petrifications rolling like so. Interesting that he doesn't actually have any speed. Interesting. Good news for me, I suppose. Mm, now he's going to bring strengthen up actually, which is going to be cool. For me here, you can just see like how deadly these um these deadly the uh, stuff is, right? So you're gonna go ahead to do that. We're gonna get the double hit and we'll wipe them out. Pretty nice team again. Mm. And we have one more here, which is a very strong team um here actually i'm gonna just i'm actually gonna avoid this because we're two stones get two nukas are not gonna be good against in harmony and it's just gonna be a bit of a messy one 
we've got mythicals again with increased accuracy so this is something you'd need to be careful of like my lady m for example would flip forms do increase accuracy and then stun everyone or i wouldn't even try to stun her i would just sheep someone and you can even sheep mafala really even if i go like that like he'll still sheep me so that's something to be careful of increase accuracy make sure that you remember it and that's why mythicals are an interesting one even uh Katrixa that you just see me take on there. Katrixa can bring resistance down, so that's something to take into consideration. Let's see if we can find one more. We have a very useful one here. Level 35. Okay. Mm, and let's try a different nuka for a change. So we're gonna try Hefrak. Now Hefrak could be putting in four stone skin. Uh it, it could be easy champion to build in a four stone skin set as well as a um savage set right because he has that buff up and i really like that type of buff if i'm honest so it's one thing you can kind of do mm. and then you can see here we're perfectly fine it's got a provoke set on torment and then we basically want to try and kill as many people as possible which we get everyone. Pretty nice. We'll leave the hex for Monkey when he returns. And then we're just going to try and get a cooldown. Hefrak, which we don't. I'm going to put the hex out. Try to get some petrifications. We're a bit unlucky that time. Take out Tormund because it's the biggest problem right now. And then we can basically start doing our shenanigans. The reset, we get my father reset instead, which is fine. Go back out of the hex, another reset, mm, and it's night night from Hefrak. So, there we are, pretty, pretty useful, right? Like, nothing too, too bad. Uh, so why not? Pretty useful um this is my defense right now you know he's in my defense why not i'm not too worried about him and uh, it's looking pretty useful so there we are guys there is my champion showcase on how to counter him with the most successful and budget team available to in-game players let me show you all the builds then so we've got mr uh, udk let's look at his stats we've got 91,000 hp we've got 5,600 defense now you want to go more hp and less defense so probably about about four thousand defense and more uh we have the resistance of 810 and then we have accuracy of 324 accuracy obviously for sheep if you're not running sheep you can drop the accuracy up and push the defense hp and uh, resistance up right um we have got the five star blessing we've got double reactions we've got resistance here we could still get some more resistance here by number 30 uh, and then we've got hp we've sent it hp we're looking for accuracy and resistance and defense ideally and then a hp ring with hp substats and then we've got hp boots with resistance so again we can lift another big chunk of resistance here and then we could also get hp here now over 800 resistance i was pretty happy with and i want a small so ability so i went ahead and did uh, the hp instead and then we're looking for defense pretty much you can go hp here and a resistance here it's just not the top of my priority list right now to rework um but yeah great great champion and top tier so uh these are the blessings uh sorry masteries that we got so unshakable for me it's the way to go i could also probably drop the that now because i'm like Good enough resistance and i poss possibly could come in with fears of presence make that sheep a bit more useful uh so there i also got master hex i also think master hex is unveiled because like that chance to do the decrease attack a bit longer is pretty useful and we do have a little enough resist enough accuracy really to land that on to um basically to land it on to nukas and stuff this is my P versus E Mafala. So it's Mafala using all the dungeon builds, Phantom Shogun, uh, what else do we use? Uh, Dragon, Ice Golem, 
and I think that's about it. I used to use her inspired, but I don't use her inspired no more. These are the stats. Now, ideally, I've done a video on her before, and I will ping that video towards the end of a breakdown a bit more on a build and how to build her. But you want to basically aim for a minimum of a thousand here with accuracy and resistance. Uh, really good speed of 282. Um, again, defense uh, nearly 5,000, and then more HP would be useful. Again, if you can get more reaction, you can. She's not really a P versus P build for me. She's more for P versus E. So I'm not in no rush to really kind of rework her. So it's kind of nice to see like a queen um, that in style of build being used. Uh, this is my uh, queen white build. Recently been rebuilt since you guys seen it on the last video. And she's still a work in progress. There's still like a lot I want to rework. You could come in with 500 resistance on my build pretty easily. I'm looking for like minimum of 280 speed which I'm missing like a lot of speed lifts. I'm missing like 20 to 30 right now. Defense, I want to lower a little bit to like 4,500 4, and I want to take a HP to about 130,000 once I can. So um, I'm happy with the bottom row right now. As you can see, I'm pretty useful. We've got triple stone skin. We've got HP boots, which I want speed of stat here, not defense. And then I want HP here as well and HP here. So I'm in the process of reworking these as you can see like here if you go to rework i've already reworked this five times so it's cost me quite a bit of dust already so it's working and as you can see like there's loads of speed and stuff like that to go batteries is face and presence again i could change this and go unshakable this would give me like 60 more resistance i like lasting gifts with her i like cycler magic on her it's all pretty useful um and i've got that extra accuracy down here just for the sheep right so i've tried to give much accuracy as possible for the sheep debuff you shouldn't really take it if you don't want to land sheep i think another strong uh blessing on her actually other than sheep is possibly life harvest right life harvest would be super insane it's really good against king narciss as well because it procs against different king narciss uh, he will basically do less damage and it stacks as well. So you can take multiple champions. And then let's take a look at my candy and my herndig. So as you can see here, candy, nothing special. Uh, one piece of refresh, counter attack as well with A1. Uh, and then you can go over some reaction if you've got it. I probably would go all reaction if I rebuilt him, but my reaction is not good enough really in the tax of stat areas. So. This is what we've got, like plenty of crew great, slow, and then just damage. So what I've done is I focus on attack, crew damage, and speed to be low as possible. And that is about it, right? And crit capped as well. For the blessings, obviously, we're going to come in with uh, deterrence and retribution, just in case he gets a stun off on like Mafalo or something like that. This will give you an extra chance to counter attack with candy. It's pretty useful. Uh, I do have Optimus because normally I use stun, um, but we are if you're using UDK or Mythala, you can basically get extra 12% damage. And then you do want to take Cycle of Violence over this. I think I just kind of botched this. Yeah, so I haven't actually rebuilt my candy in a long, long time uh, since I basically had him. For me, I would change Lightning Cage and I probably would go... Life as half is in all fairness because he he buffs himself up. If you got him in six six piece stone skin as well, it could be very useful. You can also probably go four stones, four piece stone skin, and then savage. But you just can't buff up. So if you take Mafali, you'll get increased attack anyway. Um, but I like to buff up with my candy and then do the big smack because he can uh, outrun reaction etc. And then not having to be worried about being stripped in the process. And that's about it. Mm there oh i forgot to show you my hefrak as well my apologies my hefrak who we did see for the one fight i'm i like handy more than hefrak in all fairness but yeah i mean like i said you can build this guy a bit faster four piece stone skin if you've got it on the bottom row uh, and then come in with that uh you got some refresh as well i'd probably go reaction that's probably the best way to go because i like georgie and stuff like that uh and like sigford so again He's not as slow as Candy. We've got six, seven thousand one hundred attack and then 300 critical damage. Only 70% critical rate needed. 
again you need to be careful with lockout and stuff like that probably go harvest cast again and then some questionable masteries here as well not the best if i'm honest but it does a job so i'm not worried too much about uh changing him or anything like that so yeah two solid builds honestly really really strong builds by both of them so i can't really complain about that anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a long one i know it's about 30 minutes long so i apologize about that i just wanted to give you guys some great content on how to counter him uh and stuff like that again uh replacing the nuka with anyone probably go stone skin would be the way build or slow and stuff like that let me know down in the comments if you want to see some more counters as well uh i do want to mention a couple of counters as well that are basically a bit rng but torment can work obviously and then our good friend hedgy if you have one as well again if they're in stone skin you could be in trouble so that's why i haven't really showcased them in today's video and then there's also mythicals as well which we could possibly get into for another video other than that being faster as well which is quite useful um but again if you can't rely on speed gear this is probably your best way uh, and that's it hopefully you guys can start going around to um hunting after this and so uh and enjoy uh dominating a bit more so there is it from me please remember to like comment and subscribe for my youtube channel and to support my youtube channel i appreciate you guys thank you for watching to the end i've been Grim reaper i'll see you on the next one peace